We're joined on Troops Player after the 4-2 win at Quish Park against Yeovil. Lee Molyneux, you came on a sub. That was a, a pretty strange game, that one, Lee. Go and yeah. talk me through it. It had a bit of everything, didn't it? Um, you know, from going nearly scoring after 15 seconds, uh, being 1-0 down after a minute. A minute. <laughs> then getting a lad sent off, hitting us on the, on the counter and making a 2-0, you know, and come on at our time. We scored... Um, Four goals in the second half, so yeah, pretty eventful game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, from your point of view, um, in the sort of like, past three weeks, you've been uh, right hand side, left back, yeah. and you came on today and had pretty much a free roll, didn't you? Yeah. You were everywhere. Yeah, well, you know, Gaffer's told me to come on half time and try and influence the game, but don't we start on the left? But he wanted a lot of patience from us, you know, because uh, we knew we were going to have a lot of the ball and. A lot of patience, a lot of rotation, try and move them around and be patient for that opening. And thankfully, Aaron's stuck her own for head kick in the top corner. And then we're on the, you know, the ascendancy, then chasing the second. We knew that they were going to start the game well, but um, all the stuff that we'd worked on, or little bits of the stuff we worked on, with regards to um, defensive shape and things like that, you know, it was a little bit too easy for me. Too easy to get dragged out of position, too easy for. Nathan Smith, who's got a long throw, to throw it straight into the centre forward and pop it round on the left wing and have a free run on goal. Um, too easy with regards to Nathan Smith being able to bomb down the left side when we've got two or three players on him and we haven't worked hard enough to stop the cross. And you've certainly got to stop it at source when you've got a centre forward who's six foot seven in the box waiting to nod it in. It was a great header by the young lad. So um, in between that, key moments of sending off for them. Um, but we look shell shocked, you know, we look miles off it compared to what we have been like. Um, and then it threw up a different proposition with regards to how we set up, certainly against Portsmouth, where we hit them on the break. You know, the ball was in our court, and we had to make sure that we were patient in possession, don't give the ball away cheaply, and don't give them any chance to get out of their half. I thought um, the game management, when it went to 2 0, you know, sometimes that can happen, as I say, we looked this a little bit shell shocked, we looked a little bit nervous, you know, they're crowded up, they're getting behind them, they've gone to 4 4 1. You know, they're working extra hard, they've got something to cling on to, and uh, our management of the game was, it was poor in the first half, it was too predictable, it was too left to right, we didn't penetrate enough, we didn't overlap enough, we didn't get the, the ball in around the edge of the box good enough. Uh, so we tweaked one or two things at our time with regards to our shape, and uh, we took McGowan off, who we thought, you know, He's got a bang on his leg, it's a nasty bang anyway, but with regards to him being on a book and definitely maybe looking to even things up and the crowd blame for every decision. So uh, we, we tweaked it a little bit. Um, Molyneux come on and, and played well. You know, he's looked sharp and saying he's got his goal, he, he looked a threat. And from a, a point of view of now, like you've just mentioned, we lost Jack Redshaw two weeks before the season started and many people were asking where are the goals going to come from? Yeah. And I think the answer to that is just about everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you, you, know, you scored a belter today. Yeah, thankfully off the mark, you know what I mean. I've, you know, maybe a bit of huffed and puffed over the last weekend, trying too hard at times to score. But you know, I'm, I'm, it's always nice to score. There's no better feeling than scoring, especially when we've won like that. So, you know, it's a long old season. There's still under 40 games left. So, hopefully, try and chip in with a few more. And uh, we were reckoning you picked the ball up on the edge of the box and played the longest one-two in history with Aaron <laughs> Wilding there, didn't you? Because you picked it up on the edge yeah. of your own box, gave it him, ran, and he gave it you back in their box, took a touch, smashed it in the bottom corner. Yeah, I think um, it's been a feature of our play this year, you know. So I think Tom scored one midweek and it's something we know we can do. We've got, we've got good players up top and players with, with pace, you know what I mean? And it's something we've worked on in training and so... Um, no, absolutely delighted to get the first goal. A little bit tired, like you said, after a 70-yard lung buster, <laughs> but um, no, happy, definitely.